one year old watching United Rock Nations. So today we are with Chris from Freedom Zone. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> So everything going well in Paris till yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a great day. <laughs> We've been here, we got here last night at midnight and uh, we leave today at six. So okay. Not even 24 hours. Yeah, that's a short. Yes. Yeah. So we are here to talk about your brand new album, mm -hmm. album because it's a great album. So uh, you have two changes. Mm -hmm. uh, Justin and Chet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, uh, Chet was uh, was your guitar, guitar tech. tech, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Justin, Justin was in, Justin was in a band that uh, we recorded that Chet and I actually recorded at my studio. We did two records for him, and uh, just got to be good good friends with him. And uh, when when the opportunity came for us to hire another another person, we called him. You know, it's like the only guy that we called. Cool. You know, it's pretty cool. And so, pretty how cool. it works? Everything works fine between you. Yeah. It works okay. fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we had to, um, you know, it, it, that's why it took so long from one record from yeah. Time of My Life to this record is because we didn't just lose the drummer or didn't just lose the guitar player. Yeah. We lost half the band. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, it, and people like are, are going, wow, you know, it's been five years. Like, yeah, it's been five years. We lost half the band. Yeah. We had to put, yeah. Yeah. we had to yeah. do some rebuilding. And, uh, yeah. and it was tough, man. It was really tough. But, yeah. but here we are, new record, new members. So yeah. we drew a line in the sand. We released that Greatest Hits record, which was in 2013, I think. Or, yes, 2013. Yeah. Released it, drew a line in the sand. That's the old Three Doors Down. Yeah. This is uh -huh. the new Three Doors Down. <laughs> so now we're going to try to do another 20 years. Yeah. Okay, and so because you say it's the new Freedom Sound, mm -hmm. so there's a certain difference between the old albums mm -hmm. and this one. Uh, it's maybe a little bit more rock and more catchy in the melodies and everything. So mm -hmm. that's part of the new, mm -hmm. of your new, new, new. <laughs> the new, new, the new you. <laughs> yeah, the new us. It, it is, and um, and I think that. Before, you know, we had the other guys in the band, we were so serious all the time, and everything was just dark and serious, dark and serious. And it's still, that's still there, but now we got these new guys, and so it doesn't have to be so serious all the time. And so the lyric, lyrical content that Brad was coming up with was different because he was in a different place, and it's more playful and more fun, and it's a lot, a lot different, but, but really cool. <laughs> and so, uh, about the album, how, uh, how do you, do you work in this exactly the same way that before uh, in the writing process and everything, or it's slightly different? Well, yes, yes and no. We, we were, some songs were written differently uh, on purpose, and some songs were written the same way on purpose, and it just came down to a song by song basis and kind of where the initial idea came from. Like um, the broken and I don't want to know, both kind of started with um, guitar and not a drummer, like a real person, but like a drum loop mm -hmm. out of a computer. Just because for lack of, uh, lack of, the drummer was sick that day and he couldn't be there to, to play the drums at that moment. So we're like, all right, well, we'll just work on it until he gets here. So we put the drum loop up and the song started being born against a, a synthetic beat. And it really was a lot different. A lot of, you know, when it first started happening, everybody was like, I don't like it, especially the drummer. He didn't like it. <laughs> but. But then we just went back and put drums on it, you know what I mean, and it, and it brought the drummer back into it, and it was really cool. I think it was just a different approach, and um, yeah, it worked out good. It worked out good. And you were all together writing, or yeah. there, it could be anyone that comes with an idea, or it could be anyone that comes with an idea, and we write together and we write separately. Some like Greg, our drummer, wrote um, "Living in Your Hell." He wrote everything, the guitar and everything, brought it to the band, and then Brad wrote lyrics to it. Um, Chet, our guitar player, did I don't want, uh, excuse me, in the dark on an iPad, programmed everything on an iPad, and mm -hmm. brought the song, you know, in a weird kind of sort of jumbled up mess, but he brought all the song parts to us like that. So, and then a lot of songs were written together as the whole band, so all different ways. Okay, um, because the new album is slightly different from the old ones. Uh, is there some maybe uh, new or bands that have influenced you during the past years? Because you have a five, would say five year break. Uh, do you have, maybe or maybe not, maybe it's just the same or some things you discover in five years or? I don't think so. When we, right before we start writing, everyone I think, me especially, quits listening. I quit listening to everything. 
mm-hmm. and I do it for a couple of months. I don't listen to any music, if, you know, on mm-hmm. purpose, um, just to keep from drawing too much inspiration from elsewhere. Because you'll pick up things and you'll use things that maybe yeah. you shouldn't. And so I try to just stay away from everything. And then when we write our own music, it comes from a different place. And um, I, I think that's important for me to, to not rewrite, yeah. especially now. You know. mm-hmm. Um, talking about the name of the album, that uh, is there a special meaning as on the night or? <laughs> yeah, I think it kind of represents, you know, where the band has been in the last five years. You know, I mean, kind of, at least for me, mm. um, I think it kind of represents the fact that we've lost some members, gained some members, some tragedies, some ups and downs, yeah. big recessions, all these different things that have mm. happened to us in the last five or six years, and um, it's really been it's been difficult at times. I think Us and the Night were a snapshot of that. Yeah. Okay, I'm talking more uh, about some of the songs of, uh, of the new album. Uh, your first single was Is in, in the Dark. So it's that uh, it's more electro pop, we think, than rock. Or it's the, in some kind of horror, I won't okay. say it's not rock. Right. But it sounds slightly different from the other uh, yeah. songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, what about this song? Is uh, uh, the cho- and the choice of the first single? Well, I think um, we wanted to re-release ourselves um, as a rock band, and in America is where you know that that song was chosen to go first there. Maybe not here, but it did come mm-hmm. here first too, which is cool. I'm happy about that. Um, it was the most it made the most rock and roll sense for us, I think, as a band. You know, okay. It starts out with guitar, you know what I mean? So like that, and that, that riff is kind of really catchy and we wanted it to be upbeat, so yeah. it makes sense. Okay, um, how is it doing the first single? It's working well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's doing really well. Um, everyone seems to like it, don't haven't had any complaints. Some people are, you know, are upset that the lyrics are a bit playful. Yeah. And, uh, and that's fine, because you, know, you can't please everybody all the time. Yeah. So, um, but that's really about it, honestly. And everyone really seems to like it. It's a fun song. It's, just, it's meant to be fun. Mm. <laughs> uh, talking about another song, it's Still Alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's di- in a different, uh, uh, how would you say, register uh, from this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's more rock and roll. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's that what you like to have, uh, you want to have different kind of, yes. yeah, uh, big different influence maybe uh, for, for the songs. I think that so. More rock or more uh, heavy, more... Well, we just want to have a nice collection yeah. of a little bit of rock, a little bit heavy, a little bit soft, a little bit pop, a little mm. bit, we wanted the record as a whole to be a piece and not just five songs that sound the same and then two songs that sound the same, mm. you know, we wanted it to be a nice collection so people could get... And different people could get different things out of it. Um, the same for um, well, fell from the moon. Mm-hmm. Uh, we found it some more like British pop. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's uh, interesting. Some... <laughs> I'll take it. That song was actually Brad. Brad wrote that song in its entirety. He wrote the, the you know, everything and brought mm-hmm. it to the band, kind of completed. And we, what we did is we just kind of got together on it. You know what I mean? We're like, hey, this is cool. Let's try this. Let's try that. But really, it was his thing. And um, you know, a really cool song, like from the beginning to end. And so it was, it's interesting you say say Brit pop or Brit rock, but okay, I, I kind of understand that. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> so that makes that you have all kind of of styles. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's really nice. Also. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, talking about something else, you have been here in France uh, three times, mm-hmm. uh, uh, two times in Paris, and one. Hellfest? Yeah. I think Hellfest, it was 2013. 2013 yeah. Hellfest. Yeah. Um, so you're planning a, a tour in the US. Mm-hmm. Are you planning to come back to Europe? We're going to try to come back in October. October, okay. So that will be gigs or not festivals? So yes, it'll be festivals. October. <laughs> I think it'll Maybe. be gigs. Yeah. Are there festivals in October? Uh, I don't think so. No. They're like May. No. Yeah, May you June. have from... from yeah, June to yeah. September, the last ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we'll, we'll be back to play some shows. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. That's, that's uh, good news. Thank you. <laughs> hey, what's up? This is Chris from Three Doors Down, and you're watching United Rock Nations.